Hello guys, welcome back to E7 Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily E7 Engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to define and explain the cantilever beam. What, what are the characteristics of a cantilever beam? We know that there are different types of the beam, such as the simply supported beam, the fixed end beam, the overhanging beam, the continuous beam, and so on. And one of the type of the beam is the cantilever beam. Now, how we can define and differentiate this type of the beam from the other types of the beam. The cantilever of the beam can be defined that it is the beam that it has only one support. It is only one support. This is the speciality of this type of the beam. What does it mean by only one support? It means if I draw this beam, so it is only supported here at this end. Or if I draw this beam, so it is only supported here at this end. There is no other support provided for this kind of the beam. So such type of the beam where only one support is provided. For example, here you see it, the fixed support and here is a fixed support. So this type of the beam will be known as a cantilever beam. And the other end of the beam, for example, this end will be a free end. Here this end will also be a free end. It means that there will be no support provided at the other end of the beam and only one support is provided and this support should must be a fake support. Keep in mind, this is also very important that the support should be a fake support, not a, not a hinge or roller support. What is mean by fake support? Fake support means that it can take the vertical reaction or Y, it can take the horizontal reaction or X, and it can also take the moment m so this is the characteristics of the fixed support that it can take all the three reactions so if i consider for example there is a cantilever beam and there is any load acting on this beam then the whole load will be supported by this one for example this load is 10 kN then the whole load will be supported by 10 kN and if the horizontal load acting on this beam is 20 kN, then the horizontal load will be supported here by 20 kN. Similarly, the moment will also be resisted here at this end. So all the loads will be supported only at one end and this is the fixed end. So this is the main differentiation of the cantilever beam from the other types of the beam that it has only one support and it can take all the reactions in the beam only at one end while the other end is free and it is always hanging in the air and also there is one another type of the cantilever beam we call it probe cantilever beam for example this is fixed support and then when the another end of the beam is supported here for example by roller support then this type of the beam is known as a probe cantilever beam probe cantilever beam This is an indeterminate beam now. What is indeterminate? Indeterminate. I have uploaded some videos in my YouTube channel. Please go there and watch the difference. So now the probe cantilever beam is indeterminate beam. In this case, we have four different support reactions. So, so the beam in which one end is fixed here and one end is not free but is provided with a roller support. Now this beam will be known as a propped cantilever beam which is a sub branch or the subtype of the cantilever beam so i hope you guys understand while all other types of the beam for example the simply supported beam is only a roller and hinge support the overhanging beam will be like this one always have two supports and also the continuous beam it has more than two supports and so on while the cantilever beam is only one support this is the main difference between the cantilever and another type of the beam Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.